What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and what another crazy day in the market. Yes, it looked like we were going to take off today. We stalled, we stalled, we stalled, and it looks like we got rejected and sold off at the end of the day. But before we got started, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. So news, what is going on? Uh, to be honest, I haven't seen a lot as far as in the news. I know uh, towards the end of the day, some states actually came forward, uh, Texas, uh, Mississippi, come forward, uh, stopping, uh, li essentially lifting uh, the mask mandate, uh, despite scientists and politician uh, requests. Uh, but being said, I think everybody's kind of over the whole uh, pandemic thing. <laughs> being said, people are tired. I've talked about this before. Uh, but I think that might have caused their, that sell-off towards the end of the day. It uh, looks like the I am recording this at 5.30, so the market's been closed for about an hour and a half. Uh, but it looks like we're starting to recover again. Uh, SPY, QQQ, everything. I'm actually just going ahead and um, share my screen again today because of the fact that uh, there isn't a lot of news um, that is really causing this sell-off. Uh, but being said... Um, I was looking at bonds. I did a little bit more uh, research on bonds. Uh, and the reason it's not really to do with the direction of the bonds. Um, ultimately, if there's dramatic moves in the bonds and uh, essentially something that is, is, is supposed to be essentially sl slow and steady, right? Uh, that is the only reason the market will react is if there is major moves in the bonds. Uh, also being said, uh, government is buying short-term bonds, uh, but possibly looking at the end of the month for buying 10-year bonds, uh, which means uh, TLT could actually have a big move towards the end of the month uh, as of right now. And bonds are just kind of holding still, uh, which is a good sign that helped the market. And the market um, seemed to be recovering quite well. I didn't really care what the bonds were doing yesterday. Um, but again, uh, today we were kind of just trapped under this, this trend line ultimately. Um, being said, uh, we got rejected. We're going sideways. We had a lot of whip whipsaw today. Uh, it's just one of those time periods. I think, you know, give it a couple more days and I think we'll start running back up. I don't see a sell off. Uh, it seems like everybody's starting to be okay with everything after the whole, all the, the rates and everything. Uh, people are starting to digest that information. Everybody's starting to see the economy is opening up. Everybody wants to get out. Everybody's done. Everybody's fed up. People want to go spend some money. People just want to live their lives. Uh, being said, uh, the market uh, looks to be doing okay. In my mind, uh, that little sell-off, I think it just freaked a little bit of people out that uh, some states have selected to just um, forget everything, right? But it's in my mind, it's understandable. People are tired. Uh, for sanity purposes, right? You want to get out and about. Uh, but being said, um, so we did have a little bit of sell-off, but it looks like we're recovering. We'll see how we end tomorrow. Again, still early. It's only 5.30 Eastern Standard Time here, so we still got some time before the, um, the, cl the actual close at 8. Uh, but being said, I have to see how the futures play out tonight. Uh, QQQ, uh, same setup, uh, did break uh, the trend, which was great to see yesterday. It looks like we might actually just be retesting this. So I wouldn't be surprised if this retests and gaps back up tomorrow and we just continue forward. Uh, I did hear a rumor about um, what this could possibly be because tech has, has taken such a beating that it just may be normalization. Uh, there very well could be it. That's something I talked about uh, with the rates, that uh, because of the rates being what they were, that if they were raised, that uh, all tech would be normalized. And this is, I think, what could be happening, could not be happening. It's still hard to tell. Uh, there is no definite answer, uh, that is for sure. But being said, uh, Tesla here uh, is actually wedging really nice. It's holding well, so that's a good sign. Um, and if Tesla falls off the, the face of the earth, uh, now it's in the S&P, so it will take the market with it. So it's just good to see uh, Tesla and Apple, even though they did sell off today, they were still holding quite well. 
they didn't make any dramatic drops or anything like that. So that was definitely a plus. Uh, Tesla could actually be good tomorrow. But ultimately, I don't really want to get into Tesla uh, until it breaks over this uh, 740.57. Um, Square, on the other hand, it was a behemoth today. It's still pushing. I actually wanted to get into this because they last night they released that they're opening actual uh, brick and mortar bank. Uh, so people apparently like that information. Uh, I didn't miss it today. Watching some other things, maintaining my positions. I really want to see how the market would play out just because we were at that trend line. Uh, again, pushing up after hours. I don't know if there was more news announced, but uh, Square is definitely... Definitely got the steam in it still. Uh, Airbnb, in my mind, this is great to see. I still want it down to the 180, so hopefully tomorrow uh, that might be good for a buy for me tomorrow. Again, depending on market sentiment, uh, but uh, Airbnb is starting to look good. Apple, uh, today I watched this. I was hoping it would stay above 200. It did not and sold off. Uh, and it's continuing to sell a little bit. Again, support here. As long as this holds tomorrow, I think we are still all clear. Uh, we might get another day or two. This whole May week might just be a wash. Uh, could be. Uh, some stocks are, are taking a beating. Facebook took a beating. I don't know if that was news. Uh, some of these stocks are falling a lot more than others. Others are holding. It's good to keep in mind the ones that are holding because when the market does reverse, those ones that are holding will take off. Uh, BYND uh, selling off. Spot is one of those ones I'm talking about. It's holding quite well. Again, if the market wants to fall off the side of the earth tonight, then uh, a spot might drop. Who knows? But it's definitely holding now, even with all the, the craziness of the market. So that's good to see. Uh, Etsy, I watched Etsy a little bit today. I did miss this. Move down. But I had a nice little pop here this morning. Uh, Disney. Uh, it's just trading sideways. You, uh, I thought we were actually going to break on you today, but we didn't. Again, just playing Rage, uh, Pelantir. Uh, I thought we'd still break, holding range. Uh, NNDM, still holding range. Everything is still holding range. Uh, nothing crazy. I didn't get in um, fastly. I've been just kind of watching this one. Right now, I think I'm kind of sp spread out a little more than I probably want to be at the moment but i'm still um, my conviction for the upside is more and more uh, the longer as we continue to hold i think once everybody continues to digest everything uh, then we'll start moving back up um and nano x imaging not my greatest that they look like it was good because it was holding uh the support uh, but we did break that uh, later in the day and continue to sell so we'll see uh, what we got there. I know Rocket's been a big one in the news today as well. Um, I didn't play Rocket today. Uh, Planet 13 finally broke this wedge, retested. I did not get in it. Uh, I want to see where the market was, as I, I just believe this candle could still uh, drop all the way down, even though it was a wedge. Sometimes the, the trend lines work, sometimes they don't. But uh, this was one of those ones that I wasn't really sure it was going to hold. Uh, so I just waited on that. Uh, still in very good butcher. <clears throat> Waiting for the end of the month. We'll see what happens with this one. They'll have earnings and everything, uh, which should be good considering uh, we're coming off of a holiday. Uh, so this should definitely, I believe, crush earnings. Uh, let's see here. What else do we got? Evogen. Um, trading sideways. Earnings tomorrow. We'll see what that brings. Uh, CRNT. I did take a small position in this. I do like this for 5G play. Uh, being said, um, Again, they were just uh, two really small, cheap contracts, uh, nothing crazy, but uh, I grabbed a pair of those today. Um, that's a riot. I've uh, been debating about riots. Um, Bitcoin seems to be struggling. Ethereum seems to be struggling too, so I haven't really been uh, playing either one of those. I, I sold my Bitcoin uh, today. So I traded out of that today and then I bought those other um, contracts on CRNT. Uh, TAN, again, I think everything is getting ready to turn over. It's just a lot of sideways action. If you aren't used to the market, uh, you get weeks like this, days. Uh, obviously, you can get months and years even like this sometimes. But uh, being said, we have to see. Uh, we got new administration. Um, it's, it's been kind of trading flat, so we just have to see how it plays out. Uh, at least for the for the time being. I mean, stuff I'm sure is going to pick up. Uh, the new 
the Senate was rumored to be uh, approving uh, the stimulus uh, Friday or Saturday this week. So that may be what we're waiting on. We might just trade sideways until this weekend uh, till we get official word that at that point we can make some big runs. Being said, um, a lot of everything, I mean, a lot of things, uh, everything's already beaten down, to be honest. Uh, when looking through a lot of these, a lot of these stocks are already beat down. So essentially anything you want to jump in <laughs> would probably be a good idea. Uh, NIO, uh, not a huge fan. I know there's a lot of people getting in this, um, but uh, we'll see the battery swap thing. I'm not totally sold on that. Um, I, I just don't know about this one. But nonetheless, I think a lot of people are, are back in NIO right now. Uh, CCIV, um, not a fan of that one. BLBD, um, still looking good. NGA, sold off. Walmart, I did take a position and I cut this break even. Uh, it was getting ready to push up. It looks like it was starting to roll up, uh, start pushing up, and then uh, it broke my stop and I just sold off uh, today. We, we were looking promising. There was a big struggle. Buyers and sellers were really pushing hard today. Um, it looks like the sellers won by the end of the day, but nonetheless, space was looking good too, but now it's starting to sell off more. Um, I think there's better tickers. As far as tomorrow, I'm trying to look and see. Uh, Tilray did have a nice push today, but then sold off. Maybe a higher low here, so we might actually start moving up on Tilray. I know another state, Virginia, I believe, was added. As another state that passed the MJ. So uh, with that being said, I um, think you're going to start getting more uh, more play in the MJ space here pretty soon. Uh, tap, uh, still looking good. Playing zones, if you want to play that small zone. Uh, GME, no AMC, nothing. WWE, I've been pushing up and finally starting to sell off. Uh, CRST, this actually looks really good. If it does break this, you can get a nice run out of this, I think, in this particular uh, CRSR. CRSR, yeah. If you break this wedge, I think we'll have a nice run to the upside again. I uh, have to see. Again, there's a lot of good stuff right now. Um, I'm just waiting. We're just waiting to turn around. As soon as this turns around, um, Ready to rock. Uh, pick your your most uh, your favorite stocks, your most high conviction stocks, and uh, go with those. Ultimately, um, yeah, everything is just kind of trading sideways. I think everything is just waiting, and maybe it's waiting for that stimulus. Uh, once we get that stimulus, that might actually uh, get us moving in one way or another. Again, I, I feel the scenario where our setup in is is still very uh, bullish. In my opinion, um, being said, I think as far as looking at the charts, uh, there's no reason to re uh, remain looking at the charts because ultimately what we want to know is uh, the the market sentiment, right? Like where, which way are we going? And right now it's hard to tell. Uh, there's no uh, clear distinction on what is pushing the market. Could be normalization, could be waiting on stimulus. Um, again, uh, fundamental wise, everything is looking solid. The market looks solid. Um, again, Texas, Mississippi already opening, MJ stuff passing. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff going on in general uh, to stimulate the market. Uh, rates, again, um, aren't, aren't a big concern of mine. I think everything is, is perfectly set up perfectly. Uh, I know, again, a lot of people talking about crash. I don't see it coming, not now. Not in the next couple of months. Um, you're looking towards the end of the year. Uh, could be a strong possibility. Uh, I, I get we've been inflated, but it's only been a couple of months since a lot of the stimulus has been passed. You got to kind of let some of that stuff die off first. Again, people still have tons of savings, everything else. There's still there's too much in the market for us, in my mind, to just sell off. Um, I think we will have a strong, strong bull push. Uh, upon which uh, we could see uh, some kind of major correction at that point. Uh, but now I just, I don't see it. Uh, could be wrong. Again, 
Uh, it's just all my opinion. Uh, take it for what it's worth. Um, again, this is not financial advice. But uh, tomorrow is Wednesday. Uh, just play safe, manage risk. Uh, don't overload yourself. I would still keep cash. Uh, we don't know where we're going from here, but just to play it safe, just continue to wait. And until next time, guys, I will see you later.